Oh, yeah. If you want to help out the channel, you can head over to my Patreon, try to get yourself a mug, sticker, or a tote bag. There are tier systems set up over there. I will put the link in the description, and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss any of my live streams. I do exclusive giveaways. You can try and get yourself a Zippo, and also I'll have a PayPal link in the description too if you want to donate to the channel that way. Alright everybody, how are you doing today? I got a pretty interesting video for you. Uh... It is a review of the fuel efficient inserts, a uh, lot of pros and cons and interesting facts you're probably going to want to know. And I'm going to bring all these to light and uh, show you guys a little bit about everything and uh, <clears throat> what you're going to expect and what you can do and blah 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 blah. We're going to start off with the first one. First one is chimney cap rubber gasket. Uh, First things first, I just want to say everything uh, everything cutlery lover says about it is true. Uh, I don't know. I'm only getting I'm only I was only getting like a week and a half, two weeks, you know, nothing special, same as I get with my cotton bacon and sandwich bag trick. Uh, I wasn't getting anything special extra out of it, uh, but it keeps it keeps the inside of your lid very clean and everything like that. But uh, a friend, Ryan, who gave me this uh, Carson War Armor Titanium, he pointed out that on his Sterling Silver Zippo, the chimney cap is scratching the inside of the lid. And you can see where it's touching there too, leaving marks. Uh, but his is also Sterling Silver, so it's even weaker. Uh, so this insert isn't working too well for that reason because it's scratching up the top of his lid. And... It's a solid silver Zippo, so when you look inside the lid, it looks really nice. Those scratches really stand out, unfortunately. Uh, and another thing I wanted to point out, too, uh, as you can see here, I've slid this into an insert once. Use the lid. You can see the marks. Uh, it was slid on. You can see it sliding in. But you can also see the damage of the rubber seal. See that? Right here. Down here. And right here, there's some good scathing marks. Uh... You can see it torn off there, right? Uh, so a problem with that being said is that you're going to have to replace these rubber gaskets all the time, right? So you're always going to have to buy these all the time. You already have sandwich bags. I don't really see a point in using the rubber gasket, uh, you know, because you've got to buy them and use them. Uh, the one in here, like I said, it's, it's damaging. Uh, hold on one second here. I'll take this insert out. It doesn't just pull out regularly because of this rubber gasket on the bottom. Uh, when you take the rubber gasket out, it pulls out pretty nice. But So, this is the one I have in there. Look, and it's already out of fluid. See that? <laughs> like, uh, I guess you just got to tip it over. I've had it standing. Uh, this one too, you can see. You can see a lot of damage. You can see it shrinking. And just the wear and tear you're going to get from pulling it in and out to fill it. You'll pull it in and out just as much as a regular Zippo insert. So with the sandwich bag trick. And I find the sandwich bag trick is nice because it holds it in there tight. And it keeps the bottom clean and everything like that. This does too. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying the sandwich bag is uh, much more easier to obtain. But I just love the idea of a gasket more than a sandwich bag, right? Like, this looks more cleaner. This looks nicer. Uh, but these have no problem fitting into, like, armor zippos for some reason. But the main thing I wanted to show you was these scratches down here I made. This was my test to see if this was uh, brass. Uh, so this insert, though, a plus on this is it's made of brass. So if you're a brass guy, this is what a brass insert from zippo eventually looks like right it's like some sort of brass plating of some sort and uh it just wears off you could see it's not on this side but it wears off after a few months and this is what they look like they don't look good anymore the one benefit to having these kind of inserts is this is actually a piece of solid brass so it'll just tarnish and look like tarnished brass it'll match uh any brass lighter you put it in it's just gonna look nice uh so that's kind of a win for this right uh and if you're willing just to buy the six pack of these for three dollars and you know that'll last you a year right a little more than a year probably a couple of years a six pack of these because you probably got to change them every three months i'd say uh so that's basically the in and out for this lighter here that i have in onions custom 
But like after so many times, it comes in and out easier. But the thing is, it's brass. So when you go to pull this, this will bend very easily and it's in there tight. So what I do is I just use a pair of pliers grip right there and it'll just pull out nice and nice and easy. Uh, so that's a little tip for anybody who wanted to use it. But the nice thing is too, look at you can't wiggle the lid in one of these inserts either. Uh, specifically this one. Uh, the butane inserts from Zorro are like that too. You can't wiggle the lid. Like if you put in a regular Zippo insert right now, it'll you can wiggle the lid. There's like these special things right here that keep it from wiggling. A pretty nice addition if you ask me. But so now that's the first one out of the way. I find that this is the worst one out of the bunch. But it has a lot of pros. I like the chimney cap. I like the fact it's made out of brass. So it's got all that going for it. But now we move on to this one. This one I have in uh, Dylan's custom lighter is a beast. This thing is amazing. Like I, it, I wanted to make the review when it run out so I can give you a definite amount of time that it, it lasts. Like this has lasted a week and a half every time. It's basically a week and a half I have to refill it. But this, I have yet to refill it. I've been using it and I have yet to refill it. Uh, Another thing is too, this isn't made out of brass, but it's some sort of aluminum. And uh, these, oh, I'm just gonna do it off camera because my arm tends to go flying but and hit the camera. But these slide in and out of any Zippo, no problem. These ones have no problem fitting. They fit perfect. Uh, the lid will wiggle on them like a regular Zippo insert though. Uh, it doesn't keep it tight like this one or the butane one. Uh, but the thing is like, it's been three weeks now. I have not filled this once. Uh, the biggest annoyance about this is having to put the chimney cap down. That's it. Uh, and when you have it standing up, it doesn't work as good. Uh, all the fluid sinks to the bottom. Uh, it's best to have it laying down because then it'll keep everything saturated while it's laying there. Uh, nothing's really evaporating out of it either. Uh, once it sits for a little more, see, lay it down. Like, it just always keeps working. You think it's run out, but you just lay it down for a minute and then it just it lights again and again and again. This one I leave standing up. Uh, you wouldn't need any of these inserts if you got one of these ones with a rubber gasket all the way around the bottom. Uh, it just completely seals the Zippo. And this thing has been going on, it's a week from two months. I've had this sitting here for a month and three weeks. Uh, one more week, it'll be two months this thing is still going. So I thought I might as well make the video because uh, most people that I talked to said with standard juice, that's probably what it's gonna get sitting there lighting it a few times a day. Uh, a lot of people said the same thing so and you could see the flame was getting small uh, so it's probably getting ready to run out and this one's on three weeks still going strong still rocks the flame still holds everything uh, I'd assume that you're probably gonna get a month out of this right because it's a it's like smaller containment in there that's a whole Zippo insert filled with fluid this one's actually we just cut off a bit in there there's pieces in here that uh, block it but you're getting the full steel seal i think that's the winner on this one uh, that's what makes it so good is it's not the rubber gasket on the bottom that's what i love about this one it is the complete steel seal uh like i said three weeks still going regular use i've been using this a lot you can tell from the tarnish on the lighter it was polished when i started using it uh and another thing is this isn't made out of brass i don't think this is i think it might be aluminum because it's not magnetic only parts of like the flint wheel and the cam are magnetic and the spring in here is magnetic uh and also you got a really cool you get a really cool concept of how they do it that's like a hollow bolt screwed in on the top that seals the chimney cap right and then it it doesn't give you the need for a rivet there you can just screw it in and out i really like that concept uh to take that over and put that on a zippo make changing the cam spring uh super easy uh but like i said the only annoyance is this but it's really not that bad and you know what it kind of looks cool because you don't see that in a zippo you don't you like when you see that that catches your eye right away and as far as wear and tear like uh i don't know it doesn't really have a lot of scratches like it does but not not a lot of wear off not a lot of anything like that this thing is looking looking pretty good i've been using it quite a bit you can see the flint wheel is dirtier than the rest of it uh so i have to give that a score really liking this and yeah see it seems like turning out but you just <laughs> you lay it down shake it now i just want everyone to know also too 
Uh, both of these inserts that are in these lighters, as soon as I got them, I took the wicks out. I took the rayon cotton out. I put in cotton bacon and put in the wick the way I like it. Uh, so if you don't get the same results in the same time, it might be because you're just using the standard whatever came in there. Uh, I spiced mine up a little bit, but like I said, three weeks, still going strong. See, just lay her down and she's, she's ready to rock. Like, I don't know. Uh, these are going for a long time. I have a feeling this will probably be like one of those month long inserts. I find that this insert is a clear winner, even though it has the stupid uh, chimney cap attached to the wheel, whatever. I don't mind. It's worth it. And uh, the butane inserts are pretty good too. I didn't go deep into the depth on them because I already have videos with them, but yeah, I love them. They work good too. You're not going to get a brass butane from Zippo. So this is the way to go right now until Zippo does make one and I'm sure they will, but uh, everyone take care. Uh, if you got any questions or want anything to know, uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.